incidence rate is on the rise, going from 50 cases per 100,000 people in late October to 65 now. The transmission rate and outbreak risk are also increasing, but these rising figures are not necessarily cause for major concern just yet. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. Despite Catalonia's rising cases and some pandemic indicators, overall the situation is still under control, with the latest wave far milder than other countries across Europe. So far, the surge has not been felt in hospitals, with the number of patients in ICU sitting at its lowest point since authorities started reporting such figures. A large part of the reason why the rise in some pandemic indicators is not worrying health authorities is thanks to the success of the vaccine rollout. Today, the World Health Organization praised Catalonia's inoculation campaign. I congratulate you, most honorable president, on the very impressive figure of more than 85% of people above the age of 12 now have been vaccinated. Famed Catalan mountain runner Kilian Jarnet has added his name to a platform against the staging of the 2030 Winter Olympics in Barcelona and the Pyrenees. The organization's manifesto calls hosting the Games gravely irresponsible given the climate crisis. Prosecutors request a three-year prison sentence and 17 years disqualification for one of Carles Puigdemont's senior advisors, Josep Luis Alei. He is accused of misuse of public funds for when he traveled to New Caledonia in 2018 when the French territory held an independence referendum. The 2021 World Press Photo Exhibition returns to Barcelona with captivating images dealing with themes such as the pandemic, climate and social justice crises. Organizers explain today why photojournalist work is so important. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and we'll be back with more Catalan news in 100 seconds tomorrow.